asking her that they were going to come. I had a dream that they were going to come, and then they did show up. And she was like, oh, my little psychic. Something like that, you know. I got confused by her. And then, uh... Also, like, I remember getting my head, like, stuck in some, like, little play gym thing. I don't know. I got my head stuck in a lot of things. <laughs> but, uh, it took her forever to get me out of it. And she's like, I thought I was going to have to call the fire department on you. It took a long time to get my head out of it. She's like, how did you even get in here? Because it was pretty small. Thing? That's up to your dad. He told me to... Ask my mom. Okay. Well, then sure. Yeah. Just. Um. But yeah, so just, you know. That's about. I mean, there's a lot of other stuff. Like I remember going to like the park and the beach and stuff like that. But like when I was younger, don't really know which one was first though. They all kind of blend. How about you, Jane? What's your first memory of meeting Anna Lois? She was a wet bait, wait to set balls. Yeah, dude, this what's gonna happen. You're recording. Yeah, I'm recording. I'm saving this for Linda <laughs> and other other members of the family who can't be here. But she was just my waitress. She was a good lady. And over the years, uh, I would have been 87. Yeah, 87. Then in 93, we got, uh, got together. What year did you get Daisy um, the the house? Oh, that was ninety four. Four or five? It's like ninety four. May. I know it was May Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I was in third grade, so like ninety four. And there was a duck involved. There was a duck involved. <laughs> <laughs> and three little girls. Nicole and her two twin friends down the street. So I couldn't just start a fire in the chimney, but we had to get the duck out of the chimney. I couldn't get the flu loose, but that's a weird feeling. You reach up there and find a duck foot. What the hell? <laughs> in the chimney. But all because Lois kept complaining, I hear breathing. I hear scratching. And we were in upstairs. Yeah, we were upstairs. So she was right. Yeah, yeah something right. going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I said, oh, it's probably here. just birds, you know, and, and now. Well, I'm technically thinking, it was a bird. No, but I was thinking little birds. I know. And, no, it's freaking duck. Uh, big old, one of them ugly Muscovy ducks with the red nose thing. <laughs> nose thing. <laughs> so, change them. It pretty much makes their beak not look like a beak. So, yeah, the nose thing. And, uh, we ended up having to get uh, a guy to come because I can't do nothing that it hurt the duck because I got three little girls sitting on the couch watching me yeah. try to do a, extract this duck through the flu, trying to get the flu out. But that guy came with his goggles and his gloves. And, he was able to get that thing loose, had his head, head straight up <laughs> under there, and oh man, did he get covered in soot and duck poop. Duck poop. <laughs> <laughs> I that mean, duck I'd was be so too thirsty. If somebody was grabbing me, and I'm in the stuck in a chimney. Stuck in a chimney and <laughs> chilling, and somebody grabs me. Nah, he was stuck, stuck. Really? Yeah, yeah the like blue wedged thing, in there. That, that flapper thing that's in your chimney pipe. A flu, and and he had a foot on each side of it, and he was as big as the pipe. Yeah, he got stuck. He cleaned my chimney. I don't know how though. he. I don't know how he got in there. Yeah, though. I do because I, I, when I felt the duck, everything flashed in my mind that, yeah, okay, I found that chimney cap in the yard oh. where it's so blown just... off, and, and he, 
being a Muscovy duck, they're not too bright. And <laughs> we landed on top of the chimney and fell straight down. Uh, I don't know. It's like, what did you Why do you do in there? stupid things? Uh, See? Me too. <laughs> How about you, Beth? I mean, <laughs> why, why do I do stupid things? Uh, brain chemistry? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Not IQ, just brain chemistry. <laughs> and wiring. <laughs> Been there, done all of those. So how about you, Mira? Oh, gee. Well, okay. Pass this on. As I've told you before, I mean, being that, you know, being the youngest sister, memories are hard and far to come between. But my earliest memory with Lois in particular was shoplifting at the Marsh grocery store when I was like five years old. And we'd gone in there. We were barefoot. And... Lois picked up a pair of flip-flops and put them on and uh, ripped off the price tag. And then we're walking through the store and we get to the candy section and she's starting like filling up my pockets and her pockets. And by then the store manager find, finds us and uh, takes all the candy, but she walked out of there with those flip-flops. <laughs> so... Um, which is, and that's yeah, why you yeah. chose this jar. That's why I chose this for her, her ashes for here, in that, uh, you know, that was her signature footwear, was flip-flops. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. Um, but it, one of the big things that, you know, is that Lois and Virginia, they were, they were thick as thieves growing up. They shared bedrooms. They shared... They double dated throughout high school and and all of that. So, um, you know, I was always like the third person out. But yet at the same time, often I was thrust upon them in order to like for them to be able like to go to the beach or whatever. So they would take it upon themselves to corrupt me as much as possible in, in those you know, adventures. So, um, when we first moved to Norfolk and we were living at Danbury Court and I borrowed Mike's bike and I had been riding around the neighborhood and came around the back end and both Mike, Virginia and Lois were in the back behind the house smoking cigarettes. And they were like, hey, Mary, here. And I took a drag and they're like, now you can't tell mom and dad. <laughs> and that was the story of my childhood with them was that they introduced me to many things from uh, pot and uh, whippets, various different things over the years. And um, yeah, so they were my sisters and, and dutifully educated me in many things over the years. <laughs> Um, I do have an eternal great gratitude for Lois in my later teens before I went in the Air Force going up to Watertown because I was dating a guy that my dad didn't like and we ran away up there and stayed up there at her house for a month before I went active duty and uh, she covered for me and I'm always grateful for that, that opportunity to stay with her and uh, and so on and so forth. So I've got a couple of index cards here. One of the things we discovered going through your mom's, your grandmother's stuff was she wrote a lot of notes in different things when she was working because she had nothing better to do. Notes so, to yourself. Notes to self. <laughs> so I'm going to read this one here because it was really, really outstanding. And it starts off with a quote from a book here. Electrons as surrounded by a cloud of virtual photons which buzz around it like bees around a hive. Picture then the electron immersed in shimmering the bath of evolescence quantum energy. Intense near the electron but dwindling steadily with distance. This restless seething ferment of virtual protons 
is in fact precisely the electron's electrical field described in quantum language. The energy of this photon activity surrounding an electron can be computed. Hey, Alpha. The answer proves unnervingly to be infinite. And she has the quote there. And then she goes on to say, I am the incarnation of unboundedness in brilliant infinitesimal mind that has sparkled, dissolved, and burst again from the void, an eternal yet graduated continuum where there is no distinguish, distinction actually exists between spirit and matter. Each atom of this body awakens the cosmos in its glory. We are here on earth to manifest divine radiance in form in no way limits our essence. And then finishing, she says, when you really need a guru, consult your bones. So, I, I truly believe this was her belief as far as reincarnation in that energy once there is always there it and moves around amongst whether it's a living form or whether it's part of the sun or or any number of different things that we manifest we never die we just recombine in other forms and that's enough so next person Pass it on. Pass it on, honey. To the grandchildren. The grandchildren, yes. <coughs> That's what she believes. So, uh, here's a question for you. How do you want to carry on your grandmother's legacy? How's I, that sound? <laughs> I plan to do a lot of things. I want to get a tattoo in her honor. Um, I actually found a whole bunch of, I went through like a box of old birthday notes that I had, and I had the letters she used to write me. So I want to take the end part that's like love always from Grams and get that tattooed on me in her handwriting. I plan to wear her graduation ring, which I'm wearing today at my graduation. Uh, I have a ring I should give you too. It was one that, um, I have it here at the hotel. It's, it's a, like a size six, but it's one that both she Virginia and I were at our high school graduations. I'm a size six, so I can wear that at my graduation too. Okay. So the tattoo is the main one. And then I want to get, uh, if I can, some of her ashes and get into a necklace. And then be able to wear her at my wedding. Because I know okay. she would want to be there. Yes. So that's how I plan on it. Okay. What about you, Nicole? How do you want to carry on your mother's legacy? Sell her stuff! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, I keep thinking about starting, like, an online, like, thing and do, like, so, like, I don't know why I just always like True, but, yeah. uh, doing, like, True Moon as the shop name, so it's kind of an ode to her new moon yeah. gifts. There you go. But yeah. also me. I also thought about, like, Amber in there because that was her favorite thing, but. Yeah, that's um, why you got the name. Yeah. Yep. Although I still think she planned to name me Nicole first, and then I came out with the amber hair, and she was like, oh yeah, amber. Because I was called Nicole from the day I was born. Like, the baby shower stuff says Nicole, like, after I was born. Oh, no. I'm I'm no, it's still, it's still part of it. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know, but I wore her. Uh, came across this bracelet. I wore her bracelet. I don't know what I did. But, uh, I don't know. Found, uh, this other bracelet, which I'm pretty sure was my grandma's, too, originally. Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly. Yeah, it looks yeah. familiar. But, uh, I always wanted to wear it to my wedding, although I never got married. And now it doesn't fit, so I can't even go on my I can wear it to mine if I still fit it. Yeah. So, you probably will. No, we'll see. Yep. So I was like here, and then I also found this bracelet that Emmy 
made for her. With got the a little G on with it. the heart. So oh. I was like, okay. mm -hmm. We thought it was appropriate, but you know, I'm in her skirt. You're in her skirt. <laughs> yeah. I'm wearing a dress. Yeah, what's her? <laughs> Yeah, I uh, well, this ring came from her stuff too, uh, which is poison ring that I love. This piercing is from the piercing vent from her. <laughs> yeah, I'm decked out in her stuff. Yeah, then, uh, yeah you know, her remembering her in the stuff like she she was she was a, a fashion person, you know. Yeah. I mean, she she, loved... made me, she had this ring made for me. Yeah. Actually, I'd like to bring you something. I found some a green man thing that I was. Uh, yeah, every time I'm, I'm going through her stuff, I periodically I'll revisit stuff and find stuff that I didn't see. Yeah. Because there's just so, so much. much. So much stuff. She liked things. She had a broad interest in, in stuff. a lot of different things. A lot of, Indeed, a lot she of different did. stuff. A lot of. I guess that's one of the things that I've gotten most from her is this very eclectic style and taste, taste yeah, and yeah. like all the things, like Except music, for food. And shows. And we got that, thank God. Yeah, I'm more adventurous <laughs> with the food. That's also yeah, because well, Grandma I'm always sure took me like a whole stuff. bunch of different places. Like we went to Florida, Kentucky, right. accidentally Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah. That's that a great was memory. Funny. That was no, that one's too. It's funny, but oh my god, it's, oh god, I was, was so, so mad. <laughs> I was so mad and so livid. And Calm nobody, down, they're all right. Nobody yeah. answered the phone. I, I couldn't find y'all's GPS. Y'all just disappeared out of nowhere. Well, so they were, we were in Tennessee. Supposed to be home. Like at a certain time, and then I woke. That when, is the time you ended up in when Tennessee. When we ended up in, when we ended up there twice. The trip to <laughs> it was Oz. The trip to Oz. Yeah, it really was. Yeah, it was the trip to Oz. But we were on the way there, and we kept going through the same loop to loop over and over again. And we don't know how we did it, but it was just like the same turn ramp over and over again. And eventually, she was like, "You know what? I'm not doing it." This was also the day that she made a questionable di driving decision and like almost stopped on the highway to make that turn. Nobody was around us, thank God. But I was like. Botanical like Gardens, that. wasn't it? Uh, no, it was uh, the boardwalk thing there. What is it called? Waterfront? Uh, waterfront. Hey, yeah. Waterside. Oh, hi. Hi, Gavin. Do you have a memory of your grandmother that you would like to share? Your favorite memory of Graham's? Uh, or your first memory of Graham's? Just any memory. Any memory you have of your I grandmother? Just... It's actually... okay. If you can... But you do remember and love her, right? Yes. And that's a big thing. Yeah. Oh, wasn't she the first one to show you a rated R movie? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I woke up one night and Deep Blue Sea cinema. number two. <laughs> Deep Blue Sea number two. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Oh, Grandma showed me all the bad Have you watched it? Uh, 
Centipede. I've seen Human it, yes. Centipede was the worst one. I woke up and she was watching Human Centipede and I just started watching with her and she never stopped me. And I was like 10. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But Even I, I don't came like out this fine. Movie. I came out fine. It's okay. You came out fine. Yeah, so You're pretty great. Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing all right. I actually, um, I don't know if you are interested or not, but I actually had been con uh, corresponding with your mother's first husband, Van Engelman, and he shared a few memories with me about her, including um, one of the big things about their relationship was that my dad absolutely hated him because he had long hair to his shoulders, I kid you not. Long. He was 6'4", right. with reddish brown hair, parted in the middle, was frizzy, came down to here. Very handsome guy. And um, so, for them to go see, I believe it was the Who, over at the Civic Center, he had to cut his hair for the show. Oh, he did. Wow. He cut his hair to take her to the Who. Um, and he say, shared another, another memory that they were here in 1972 for the solar eclipse and got to share that one together. So we had a total here in 72. Yeah, in 72. I, I remember was watching it at my parents' house in Virginia <laughs> I did in Drive. grade school. Yeah. <laughs> but it was it was total eclipse. It was the, the, the weirdest thing that the, the birds, they, they completely were silent. Yep. It was so still and so quiet. And then when the sun started coming back, it was like the birds, it was like dawn and the birds just went nuts. It was an amazing experience. So I can imagine what it was like here at the beach. Yeah. yeah. So that was some of the things that he shared with me with some of the concerts that they went to. And um, she did spend, I don't know how much you know about her history, but she did spend like five years up in New York, upper New York State, and um, worked up there, and even learned how to ski at one time. So mm -hmm. she had very. We take you skiing. I remember. Yeah. I was not good. <laughs> no, yeah. we were not. So I'll take this back. Lot. I fell a lot, but yeah, uh, I mean, definitely my first concerts for her. Yep. yep. Usually jazz stuff at the uh, my uh, first at one the at the side. amphitheater too. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, Brian yeah. has memories I I'm, I'm sure too. He was talked about with me about uh, when she lived down in Port Charlotte at the house on Meham and the parties that she would have yeah. and things like that. Well, I heard about that. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, Well, Brian was 11 years younger than me, so he would have been, and Lois was three, so she was 14 years older than him. Yeah. Because he was born in 68, yeah, she was born in 54. Around, I remember, I remember a story a wild. About, Yeah, I remember a story about when, uh, down uh, the house on, what is it, Meehan? Meehan, yeah, yeah the Meehan house. Florida, uh, I remember Brian was living there, and I guess my mom had come down to visit or something but the grandparents weren't around or her parents weren't around and she threw like a rager and uh <laughs> it's like you know the first party Brian went to and he's like super young teenager yep yeah I, remember I that heard story, lots though. of stories about the parties that she had down in Florida Cameras ruining your dance with good memories well she loved the cameras though that's another thing I picked up from her oh yeah never throw a rager. Well, that's another thing we both picked up from her. Shutterbug. Yep. She took classes. I remember I still have her negatives and like some of her pictures of, uh, you know, film that she developed from her photography class. And, uh, she was always taking photos everywhere I went with her. Yeah. And I went like everywhere. <laughs> like, crazy boy. Yeah. Yeah. And then she'd like, there's so many photos of me doing like crazy stuff that I wouldn't have done if she wasn't there. Like holding an alligator, a tarantula. Oh my God. Tried to kiss a snake. I a yeah, ball what was python. It? A ball python, yeah. Like 18 feet yeah, long. 
Maybe it was it a boa constrictor or a No, it was a, a ball python. python. It was eighteen I, feet I long. <laughs> well, you went over with her to say hi to it. And, and you got to pet it and then everybody stands she up. We my had fears. two ladies there. Everybody assisting. stands up to say bye. And, I know, I've seen and the photo. You go, Whoop, and just go straight for the Ouch. head. Oh, I wanted to kiss it goodbye. <laughs> And them I'm girls so were like, like <laughs> okay ball python with six she inch fangs she got me like sworn as a princess once at a renaissance festival yeah yeah um oh i remember one year at the oh. renaissance festival that like alpacas escaped or something the alpacas or something oh yeah escaped. yeah something Some escaped of them got started out. running crazy she, she told me about that one because I didn't find out till like because you hung out with her all day that day. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I came later to pick y'all up or, or to help out. I saw one getting caught. I didn't see them like running around, but I saw somebody like get one and I was like, what was going on over there? And then she heard around the people. Yeah. The gore lock. Our gore will probably told her. Who knows what told her? Did medieval times with her. Yeah. And like Myrtle Beach or something. Yep, that was Myrtle Beach. Yep, all the fairy house competitions oh, that you oh, guys yeah. did. You cheated so bad on those. You were not just Tuesdays and Michaels. <laughs> One time my whole base was Michaels. I had to pull stuff on top of me. Yeah. Place. Sorry, guys. Sorry to anybody who lost to me. Yeah. I cheated. Yeah, you definitely. Grandma helped you a lot, too. <laughs> yeah, she did a lot of it. I bet. <laughs> I was gonna say I basically just hot moved, but sometimes she did yeah. that too. She's like, put it here, put it here, put it here. <laughs> and then I still she did got that me, with me with the Christmas tree. It's like before you I started getting, oh, uh, you know, Christmas anal Christmas and obsessive trees. over the Christmas tree. Well, that's where I got it from, from her. She'd be like, that ornament goes here, that one goes here. Because <laughs> it, 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 but it looked good. It looked good. Oh, I loved her big Christmas trees at the townhouse. Yes. Oh, the really tall I ones. I sneak yes, on every Christmas to y'all's computer. That was like near the staircase, and I would Google Santa Tracker to see if we could get there. So, did you eat her eggs Benedict and everything on Christmas morning? Crabs. Crab Crab Benedict. Ah, oh, yeah, but the crabs. I think I probably tried it. Yeah. But I was younger for a long time. Yeah, yeah, she didn't. She, yeah, she wasn't as adventurous all when she was younger. Ah. All the Christmases I spent with them, I was younger. But she remembers the cooking. Oh my God, I love her. Yeah. So Especially the no bakes. I want to make more of the no bakes. With the oat oatmeal chocolate? Yeah. With the uh, you butter. need a, do you need a recipe? recipe? I've got the recipe. I have her recipe. Yeah, right. I have the recipe, which was from our Aunt Ella May. No. That's she where it gramps. came from. She wants Gramps. Gramps changed things, just like uh, hey! cookies. I would be interested to see a comparison. It would be. Yes. I, I miss her spaghetti sauce. The oh original God, spaghetti sauce? Yes, the original one before she decided to change it to the wine one that you guys like that kind of had a spice to it. No, we only did that one every once in a while. We went back to it. Oh, know, did you? Know. Well, for we the only longest did that time, that was actually, yeah, that was your favorite thing when you were a baby. On your first birthday, that's her what you Her doctored had. up, yeah. her holy. Later, yeah, or five brothers, and then it turned to right. Crowley's. Yeah. And, and she would doctor it up with her fresh herbs and, and dried herbs in the winter time. I know. And, so many times I asked her uh, for the recipe, and she's like, I, ju I just taste it, Nicole. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't have that taste. <laughs> I hope I get that. You didn't give me that gene. But I could tell you if the cookie dough's wrong. Yes, yeah, we can both do that, because that's because Grandma used to have the Take it all and she'd be like, what's missing? And I'd be like, it's vanilla. Is there sugar cookies? Only that does. That does gross. No. But the frosty. Oh, my favorite. And we wonder why we missed the bar teeth. I'll let Frosty pay. Chocolate chips with the raw eggs. Raw eggs are wonderful. Oh, that reminds me of when Jake grew up. Oh, yeah. My grandma was making brownies with me and my best friend, Jane. And I was very used to eating batter, so the eggs didn't bother me. And this was like such a strange night. So me and my grandma make the brownies with Jade. We're playing Clue. I think there was a bunch of other food involved, too. Probably. Cause... My grandma loved to go all out. She even did like uh, airbrush face painting on me and Jade one time. Me and Jade go to bed. We had both eaten batter. And it's 10, 11 p.m. on the dot. And I look at her and I'm like, she's going to throw up tonight. Should I just go hang out with my grandma and like watch shows? And then I was like, no. 11, 11 p.m. An hour later, I puke on the back of my arm. Ooh. Yeah. 
But all I remember is grandma because I immediately ran out and I was like, Gramps, my friend just threw up on me. And she was like, Jane. And sorry about that. I think I ran to Gramps. Pretty sure. <laughs> yep, you didn't run you to did. me. Gramps was my go to. She also was there when I had night terrors. Yep. Yeah. That was your go-to. Yes. When we lived with them, she was definitely your go-to. Yeah, because it was the grandma. I was her little adventure buddy. Yep. That scrapbook she made on all this, like, all our little trips everywhere. But that's probably one of my earlier memories. The, what's the thing called? That's like a dome and you can see the sky. Planetarium. Planetarium. She took me to my first planetarium. There's a picture yeah. of me when I was... There's a picture in the um, uh, memory book that Graham made. I can show it to you in my home. I have a book. I mean, I, I guess it would have been at, like, the Air and Space Museum. That's the only thing I can think of. I got an empty room. I just want to intro Because the only other, like, you know, planet, what is it called? The Planetarium. Planetarium, yeah. The only other one I know of is... There's one near here. There's one in Cincinnati. Or you, yeah. The only other one I know of is the Plaza Middle School one. Yeah. God, that was so awesome. But there used to be one in Norfolk. Huh? I remember going there when I, I was know, in the elementary school. school. Was there one in Norfolk? Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, and I guess that's where you went. Yeah, I remember her taking me to the Children's Museum in, like, Portsmouth. And, you know, we did, like, Universal Studios when I was yeah. little. And, like, I did Disney World. <laughs> yeah, Disney. I never got to go to Disney World. Spoiler. And you went to... You went to Europe! I did go to Europe, actually. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. You guys she was on my side too when I wanted to, because the other girls that were around my age, their mom was letting them go to the red light district, and I was like, "Mommy!" And she was gonna, she was about to cave. She was gonna cave. I wouldn't and let then her. You wouldn't let her. You were like, and "If when she that, goes, when she got I'm there. not going." Yep. And, and she, I said, "You might as well take Grandma too." <laughs> no. no. <laughs> and she's like, "What?" I said, well, you feel good enough for her. Go ahead, take mom. <laughs> and, oh, mother. Oh, good <laughs> and, Lord. And I said, I already told you what it was like. You want to believe this other woman that's never been there? Go ahead. But I ain't going if you, you're taking it either of them. And so me and her went. And she was like, oh, my God, I'm so glad I didn't bring Nicole. But my favorite that trip is like swimming in the yeah. the the, that was in the what is it the lake, lake by, the Alps. In Switzerland. by the Alps by the Alps right it, I don't remember if it was Lake Lucerne but it was in Switzerland yeah in the Swiss off the Alps. big dock thing she had to coax me on there you and her both yeah. coaxed me to jump off of it but it was cool <laughs> and, it, and she got a perfect yeah. picture of it she did yeah she's got a couple really good ones and then you know did a lot of stuff when I was a kid, just like you. Yes, she did. I mean, yeah. we did stuff all the way up until I was like 14. Yeah. yeah. She came down here and we uh, yeah. walked along here. Yeah, yeah, especially the art festivals are some of her favorite things. And we'll do that again. She had such a, you know, an interest in art. Yeah. There's a bunch of, yeah. yeah. Even at the end, like, That's she started why picking her it. Her yeah. Even uh, as the end, she started picking stuff back up. Like for a while, she wasn't like drawing or painting or any of that for a while there. And then she started doing it again. I was really happy she, you know, yeah. picked it back up because something that made her happy. But yet the last year, Jean would bring her coloring books and stuff and she had absolutely no interest at all. Oh. Yeah, well, lots of coloring books. Drawing tablets, coloring books, that are all I Yeah. Well, we got 30 minutes in, folks. Yeah. I'm going to wrap things up a little bit. How do you say that? Well, the thing is, as long as we remember, she will always live within us. And that's the big thing. As long as we remember, as long as... Emmy likes to talk to her through the pendulum. Well, I was just talking to her last night. Good. Excellent. And I, no, it's so cool because I like I've always been like iffy on pendulums, but I every time I ask like show me yes, show me now, it always says line for yes, circle for now, 
and then I always ask, this is my grandma, I asked her her specifically, and then I told her the first time I ever did it, that if I said, like, I love you or I miss you, to do a circle, to say it back, and then, like, my friend was over last night, and she saw it too, where she was going in a straight line, and the second I said, I love you, it, straight circle, and it was like, you could tell my arm wasn't moving, so I, I do be talking, even though that, I believe it, I believe it, I, I believe it. Oh, sure. I believe it. Yeah. Sure. Like uh, the way it moves, I can't explain that. Yeah. Normally, I can be like, oh, I could have my hand twitched a little. No. Grace believed that. it too. Yeah. And here she, yeah, she taught me how to do it. Um, yeah, I remember. Oh, those were some fun. Uh, you know, definitely interesting, fun times. Is like being like 13 and like, you know, or 12 or 11 and going to circles and stuff. Yeah. I always like that and trying to learn to belly dance. You did that too. Yeah. I know. I'd like to really find, she used to have some of those like skirt things with like the chimes. Yeah, yeah with the chimes. So oh, it, I don't think she has any more of those. Oh man, I think she might have sold them all, but yeah. if, I, if we find some, I'll be real happy. But I Are you looking a, for, what you're talking about, the skirt? The, yeah, the, the belt? Yeah, the tie things. Yeah. The belt. Your belly I only came across two of them. Yeah. Oh, you did? The belt? Yes. Yes. yes and out, I got them. Not on the skirt. Okay. Yeah, I got them. She's got I grabbed them. them. There was a green one and a brown one. I think I saw a. I don't know. I think I saw a purple one somewhere. No, I well, if there was, I. I'm I, sure we'll find some more somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's had had oh yeah, there there was a whole bunch of Halloween costume stuff in in a couple of the tu the tubs. Yeah. So they might be outside, or they could be in the back bedroom. In the yeah. shed. Yeah. In yeah. the back bedroom, I still haven't gone. Yeah. Okay, yeah. turn that yeah. for all that. Oh, no, I, I was thinking, <laughs> what there was one other thing I wanted to say. Oh, shit, okay. and it just passed I my know, mind. I know, I kind of like the scissors story. When you, yeah. after she passed, you guys <laughs> couldn't find any scissors in the Oh, house. That, was, that was humorous. Then, hey, it was like we invoked you, you she in, the scissors. No, when, when I first came up there, there was one pair of scissors, and it's like they kept getting misplaced, and, and Jean kept saying, I know there's a lot of scissors around here. And I'm like, okay, Lois, <laughs> where are all the scissors? And the next day I came across six pairs at least. And, and I came across another four or five. Yeah. I we mean, just they were, everywhere you turned, there everywhere was a pair we of turned, scissors. Everywhere we turned, there was a pair of scissors. <laughs> I kid you not. I yeah. kid you not. Um, no, there was one other thing I wanted to mention that, uh, about what's going on and stuff. Um, my mind's blank everywhere right now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I understand. But um, the big thing is is yeah, that she is remembered and um, and honored through art and song. Hi. So. We love you, Lois. Yes, we do. Speed on your journey. You want to scatter, or what do you want to do? Some of the ocean, some of the. You go to the ocean. Yeah. Okay, I'll walk with you. So I like scatter with me. Don't want this going in people's faces either.
She had me out there with her, and then my friends were like peeking through the wind, through the fence, like just to see if I could come play. And I was like, oh my goodness, covering up my, my bare flat chest at like six years old. <laughs> because my friends were there, and I was like, oh my goodness, that I didn't have. Because my mom had me out there sunbathing me with her. <laughs> Is that the crazy woman? She is a crazy woman and we loved her. Yeah. Rest in peace, Anna Lois. We love you. 